Hi guys and welcome to Super User Channel. In this video, I want to talk about corner mullions. In Revit, there are four built-in corner mullion types that you can use when two curtain walls are joined together. And each type has a different shape, which are L, V, chamfered, and square shape. But since they are system families, these corner mullions customization options are very limited. For example, I would say that the quad corner is the most popular one because it's less bulky than the rest. But if we checked its properties options, we have only an offset parameter to adjust and nothing more. So if you are satisfied with the result that these four shapes give you, you don't have a problem. All these mullions will work just fine and they will adjust to any angle you create. But what about the most common corner mullion detail in construction? which is the 45 degree diagonal mullion. Unfortunately, we don't have a built-in corner mullion for that condition. So how can we create this detail? Well, you might be tempted to use a standard rectangular mullion, duplicate the type, and then rotate it 45 degree. I would say that the result is not geometrically correct, and the curtain panels are not responding to the rotated mullion. But it is still an option that you might find acceptable. But I would like to look for an alternative for this. One option is to build the corner mullion directly inside the curtain panel family. But before I start modeling it, I want to mention that with this option, Rivet will not recognize this corner mullion as part of the mullion category. For Rivet, it is just part of the curtain panel. If this is not an issue for you, let's proceed with it. Now I'll open a new curtain wall panel family. Inside the new family, I'll model the first extrusion, which is the glass panel itself. I'll centralize it with the horizontal reference plane and make its total thickness equal to 25 mm. I'll align and lock the extrusion edge to the built-in reference plane from one side. However, on the other side, where I'll model the mullion extrusion, I'll draw a new reference plane add a dimension, and then make it a parametric one. I'll call it side offset, then align and lock this side to it. Now from the elevation view, I'll align and lock both the bottom and top of the glass panel extrusion. Then in the plan view, I'll add a parameter to control the glass panel offset within the curtain wall. Now it's time to model the mullion. I'll open the 3D view and then from Create, I'll click Sweep, and then pick Path. In the 3D view, I'll pick the glass panel edge. Check and finish Edit Mode. I'll go back to the plan view to sketch the sweep profile. For now, I'll model a basic rectangular with a dimension of 190 mm by 50 mm. Then I'll rotate the whole sketch 45 degree, but I'll place the rotation pivot at the sweep point. Check everything and finish edit mode. Now as you can see, the mullion is intersecting with the glass panel. Now I can edit the mullion sketch to create a little pocket to receive the glass, which I'll do later on the video. But for now, I would like to keep the mullion shape very basic as the other standard mullions in the project. So in order to clean this intersection, I'll draw a mask region on top of the mullion, lock its four edges to the mullion sweep, to hide everything underneath it. I'll change the view visual style from wireframe to hidden line to see its effect. Then from create, I'll add a horizontal flip control, so I can control the family orientation in the project file. Before I load the family to the project, I'll add two material type parameter, one for the mullion and the other one for the glass panel. Lastly, I'll save the family under the name Corner Panel and then load it to the project. Now in the project file, I'll select the two border mullions for these two perpendicular curtain walls. Right-click and select all mullions on grid. Unpin and delete all of them at once. Now I'll tap until the curtain wall panel is selected. Unpin it, then replace it with the new curtain wall panel we've just created. I'll do the same for the other side, but this time we need to flip the panel. 
Before I focus on the corner mullion, we need to change the curtain panel offset value to make them align with the rest of the panels, which is 49.5 in our case. From edit type, I'll adjust the value. Now let's zoom to the corner mullion. On top of it, I'll start sketching with the red detail line how it should look like. From the center line I've just drew, I'll offset a 25 mm to both sides. What we need to do is to increase the curtain panel side offset in order to make the two corner mullions align accurately on top of each other, which is 14.1 in this case. And that is the end result. Let's check it in 3D view. It is in gray color because we didn't assign a material to it. From edit type, I'll assign glass to the panel and aluminum to the mullion. Previously in the plan view, we only changed the curtain panels that was visible on the cut view level, but it is easy to change the rest of them at this corner. By simply selecting one panel, then right-click and select panels at vertical grid. Unpin them and change the type. We'll do the same on the other side, but this time we need to flip the family. Deselect the only panel that we've already flipped and then click space on your keyboard. And we are done. Now, as I said earlier, it was intended to keep the corner mullion shape very basic. But if you want, you can make it as detailed as you like. For example, I've already made a sketch for a detailed mullion using detail lines. I'll copy the lines, then I'll go back to the curtain panel family. I'll delete the mask region, then inside the edit profile mode, I'll delete the old sketch and paste the new lines. I'll move and rotate the new lines to connect them correctly with the panel. Exit the edit profile mode and load the family back to the project. Of course, the offset value needs to be modified now. I'll measure it and add it to the side offset parameter value. And it's done accurately. Now I want to mention that the sketches we did in this exercise are designed for 90 degree connections only. And these sketches are not adaptive, which means that if you change the angle of the curtain wall, it will not be reflected on the corner mullion. What you need to do is to sketch a specific one for the new angle. I think this method is very convenient if you have two or three angles at a given project. Because sketching those angles will not take much time, in comparison to the time and effort, you will spend in building an adaptive family with complex formulas. So evaluate your project and follow the method that suits you best. And we are done for this tutorial. My upcoming video will be about folding doors within curtain walls. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Stay safe and thanks for watching.